So I've made this um, <clears throat> this point before in many other videos. Um, people will sometimes say, I go to a Bible-based church. What? A Bible-based church. I just wanted to pause there to let that sink in. A Bible-based church. What, so you can be like the first century church? Now, the canon for the West wasn't established until the fifth century. I believe it was at Carthage. It was 415, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> Athanasius of Alexandria wrote what he thought should be in the Bible, and it matches up with uh, the books that we have in our Bible today. Except, he said, you should read the Didache, um, the Acts of Peter, uh, the Protoevangelion, uh, First Clement, before you even read any of the Bible. Um, I also need to do a video on um, the Deuterocanonical, um, the, the, what gets called the Apocrypha. But a Bible-based church. The church existed decades before a single th single piece of writing that would make it into the New Testament existed. Some apostles were dead before some of the, the works of the New Testament were written. Not to mention the video that I made citing tradition, um, uh, paradosis, uh, again, Strong's G3862, and I can also cite Second Thessalonians 2.15, um, Second Thessalonians chapter 3, 4 through 6. 1 Timothy 3.15, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 2. But um, Bible-based church. Now, this to American Christians, to Protestants, does not sound insane. It sounds like a good idea. Oh, it's a good Bible-based church. But if you think about it for a half a second, you realize... That's got to be one of the most insane things in the world. All right, peace to you.